Welcome to cabin 6102, an 88 interior cabin on the Carnival Miracle. You're probably wondering what this is. It's a doorbell. You know how I know? Well, more than a couple people rang it for me. First thing you notice is that how wide the cabin door is to allow wheelchairs in. Easy access. Right here next to the door handle, you have the main cabin light switch, a couple of hooks, the thermostat, and the light to the restroom. Spinning around real quick on the right side of the wall, two more hooks. Coming in, you, you notice how wide the room is, so wheelchairs can have access throughout the cabin. I have the best cabin steward. He's been hard at work. Underneath that shelf, you'll find your safe and a storage shelf if you need it. I try to travel light as possible. So no, I don't put anything down there because if I leave it down there, I know I'm going to forget it when I leave. Looking from the bed, again, you see the shelf. Small TV, and they need to upgrade the TV. That is tiny. But plenty of storage space uh, as far as shelf shelving goes. Mirrors, vanity lights. Right underneath the TV, some more storage, if needed. Again, for me, <laughs> that'd be just a place for me to leave something and forget it. Going down underneath the shelf, you'll see this door. There's your your um, mini bar. Well, there's no mini mini bar in it. Nothing's in it. This is a cooler. Keep your uh, beverages or anything you want cool. No freezer, just a cooler. Underneath, you'll see a stool to bring out if in case you need to sit here and fix up your face in the mirror four drawers to the side, a table, some fancy artwork, and a chair with a back. Thank goodness. This is the one that I use when I'm sitting at the desk here. This is the one that I use. I bring that chair over here. On the left side of the bed, you see they have a little storage area underneath and a lamp with two USBs perfect for um, charging your phone in the middle of the night. On the bed, you'll see my friends, they were a little upset. We were watching TV. And I said, oh, I forgot to do my cabin tour. Well, you guess what, people? It's getting done. To the right side of the bed, another lamp, two USBs, and a little storage area. At the head of the bed, you see some more artwork. Also, there's an emergency button if you need it to push that and people will come and check on you. Also, a main light switch to cut off uh, the lights in the room. Over here, you'll see a closet. Make that two. Could it be three? It is, along with some extra bedding and your life jacket. Inside of closet number one. Closet number two. For me, this is plenty of storage. All right, let's head into the bathroom. And this is the back of the door. You see two hooks. Plenty of space. Down here on the floor, you notice there's no lip there. Uh, so you can roll a wheelchair right in it and directly into the bathroom.
On my last cruise, won't say which cruise line, I complained about it being the smallest bathroom, smallest shower I've ever seen. In this ADA cabin, uh, that is not a problem. Plenty of handrails, a stool if you need it. Again, no lip to get into, so you can roll right in there if you need to. Shower head. And if that shower head was too high, you can make it to where you put it down lower, right there. The standard carnival shower gel and shampoo. Racks for your towels. A mirror. Three shelves to the left. One to the right. With a outlet for shavers only. Also, a little tissue holder. And the trash can is right underneath. Now that is the end of the cabin tour. Me and my friends here are gonna watch a little TV and call it a night. Good night, see you on the next adventure.